Good morning, guys. What do you guys think of the snow? Have you guys gotten out to play in the snow yet? Anybody go sledding yet? Oh, nice. Good. Good. That's all right. You should make sure to go today. Oh, you go too fast? I hear you. Yeah. There's a good hill right outside of our church that you guys can go on. Okay? Not you, though, huh, Jackson? Maybe soon. Today, guys, I want to tell you about some saints. Can you guys, tell, uh, can you guys say that word, saints? Okay, saints. I want you to, to introduce you to some of them. Okay? These people have cool stories, and uh, God did some neat things through them. Okay? So the first is a guy named St. Patrick. Anybody ever heard of St. Patrick before? Okay, that's St. Patrick. He lived like 1,700 years ago. He had an awesome beard and a very cool hood. And do you see what he's carrying in his hand? Can you see that, Mark? You went, like, would you see this thing? What is that? A clover. Okay, it's a three-leaf clover. Um, and St. Patrick was known for being a missionary who took the gospel, told people about Jesus in Ireland. He went a long ways away and told people who didn't know about Jesus in Ireland about Jesus, okay? Pretty cool. St. Patrick. St. Patrick. That's a guy worth knowing. Let me see. Another one here. And we'll save her. Ooh, this guy's cool. This guy is named St. Martin of Tours. Also has a good-looking beard. You see him, Wesley? Okay. Uh, is carrying a cool, or has a cool sash and a neat Bible that he has there. Okay. And so he is a saint, uh, and he took the gospel to France. And there's this really neat story about him that one time he was riding his horse through a battlefield uh, where all these people were hurting. And he kept taking off articles of clothing because it was the middle of winter. He kept taking off articles of clothing. So he'd take off his coat and he would rip it in half and give it to somebody who needed it to stay warm. And he would rip off the other half of his coat and give it to somebody who needed it to stay warm. Until finally he was riding on his horse back to where he lived with almost nothing, nothing on in the middle of winter. So that's Martin of France. Okay, So he, that's a, he's a pretty neat guy to know about too. Let me see if I can tell you on another one here. You guys know this guy, but you don't know him like I know him. Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas of Malta. Who's Saint Nick? Do you know? So Saint Nicholas is, some of you guys know him from Santa Claus, actually. Saint Nicholas also has a cool beard. One thing you'll notice about saints is they all have cool beards, okay? Um, and he also has a, a neat sash. Uh, St. Nicholas, he was known for defending the faith, that, that creed that we just spoke, the Nicene Creed. Uh, he was a big part of writing that. He would also, in his spare time, go to needy children's houses and put gifts in their shoes, that's how, you, that's how we know him as uh, Santa Claus, the guy who gives gifts. Okay, but this is St. Nick. St. Nick. Let me show you another one. Okay, this is St. Teresa. St. Teresa, also known as Mother Teresa. And she doesn't have a cool beard, thankfully. Okay? But she was known for going to a, a place called Calcutta and working with all these people who had this very terrible skin disease. And for her whole life, she would care for people who were rejected and left behind because they were sick. She spent her whole life caring for people. Pretty neat, okay? So uh, these, are, these are some of the saints that I wanted to show you and tell you about. Now, do you notice anything in common with all these people? What do you notice in common with them? If you just look at their pictures or remember their stories, what kind of things do you remember? Uh, Kruger. Okay, they all start with saint. Their first name is all saint. Yes, okay, very good. Very good. Anything else that you notice, okay? What's around their heads? Do you see what's around their heads? It's, it's kind of a hat, but it's like a glowing circle to let you know that they're very important, okay? Um, 
Anybody, anybody else remember? So they all did like good, nice things. They really cared for people, right, and loved people. Okay, so that's good. That's one thing that they all had in common. I want to show you one more saint. This is Saint Teresa of Omaha. Of Omaha, Nebraska, Saint Teresa of Omaha. What do you, what do you, what do you notice? Jack, do you recognize that person? Yeah. Who is that? It's grandma and me, that's right. <laughs> okay, this is St. Teresa of Omaha. She's known for such things as changing my diapers. She's known for such things as feeding me and my sister when we were hungry. She's known uh, for such things as giving up her time and energy and all sorts of things to uh, make sure, sure that we had a home and a place that we were safe and warm and loved. Uh, she is also known for teaching me about Jesus. She, uh, she would go to my confirmation classes with me every Wednesday and would be a leader to teach me about Jesus, right? Now, she doesn't have anything cool around her head, right? She also doesn't have a beard. She also doesn't have a cool sash or anything that looks like what these people had, right? But you know what the interesting thing is? Is that my mom, St. Teresa, has, uh, <laughs> has some things in common with these people, okay? She did good things. She cared for people. She loves people. She t tells people about Jesus. But what she really has in common is that she believes and is called uh, by God and is loved by God. And that is actually more than anything else, more than any good deeds, more than any special thing that we might do or care for people or anything like that. What makes us a saint isn't what we do, but whose we are. In our reading from 1 John today, uh, the, John wrote us a letter and said that we are dearly loved children of God. Because Jesus came to us, called us, showed us his love, and we put our faith and trust in him. And St. Paul, in the Bible, will call everyone who does that a saint. Okay? So saints aren't necessarily about what you do, but about whose you are. And each one of you are loved dearly by God and made holy because of that, because of what he's done for us. Okay, so uh, maybe one day you'll have a picture like this of you, maybe not, but each one of you are saints uh, and loved dearly by God because of Jesus. What's that? How did I get here? In my car, kind of like you did. Okay, should we pray? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you uh, that we are called your children. We thank you for your love and your sacrifice that made us your children. We pray that we would live lives uh, that follow you and trust in you and show your love to other people. Um, and God, we pray uh, always that you would keep us in your name. In your name we pray. Amen.